Kevin Laveroni is one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time. Not only that, one of the best as well. He was placing second at the Mr. Olympia 1992. He was still placing second in 2002. Ten years of destruction. What does that tell you about this guy's physique? Just as aesthetically pleasing as your Frank Zane's, and just as much mass as Nasser El Sambadi, this guy threw together a package second to none. I can't think of any bodybuilders that, you know, combined that mass with aesthetics quite like Kevin Lavroni. Today, we are going to search his competitive history and find out, in my opinion, when was his best, when was his best year, when was his best version. Now... I did the whole Kevin Lavroni tournament, you know, all of his versions uh, versus the other ones, this and that and the other thing. And in my opinion, I, I picked 1992, the most uh, aesthetically pleasing, maybe the most conditioned and surely the best balance between upper and lower body. But, you know, since then, I've grown as a uh, observer of bodybuilding and I realize I've, I've faced the facts that a giant version like this 1997 Russian Grand Prix on the stage would probably mop the floor with your 92 versions and food for thought this 1997 Russian Grand Prix maybe one of the best maybe one of my favorites of Kevin Lavroni but I mean we are far from over guys like I said 1992 Maybe the best balance. There's just something about this 92 Kevin Lavroni. Look at the size of the wheels. And as far as conditioning is concerned, you had the best balance and maybe the best condition from behind as well, too. Look at those hamstrings. I mean, I, I don't want to. I don't want to upset any Dorianites, but Dorianites. But he looks like he's more conditioned than Dorian. Huh? Huh? We are going to have fun with this one, guys. I know, I know, most people are going to say, What about 1995? He placed second. It was his best. Well, the thing about 90, 95, 95 and 94, virtually identical. In many ways, 1994 may be even better than your 1995. He got third in 94. And he got second in 95. So most people are going to point the finger to 95 for being much better. But in retrospect, no, no. The second place of 95 was not his best. Sure, it was his best placing. Tied with his best placing. But no, I, I think 94 actually was probably a little bit better. But was 94 the best? No. And since we are talking second places, let's get this one out of the way now. 2002, his best placing, uh, second place, and he was pretty ripped. He had some good abs, maybe some of his best, but yes, we have to face the facts. 2002, his wheels were down, his upper body, heck, even that was down. His condition was, was decent, was decent, or was it, or was it? From behind, I've even seen him much, much harder. His back development... Not up to par to those, you know, those 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 mid nineties or even the early nineties, and there is one more second place in two thousand, the forgotten second place, and Kevin Lavroni himself. I have heard him say that this was his best version, and I'm not here to argue with one of the best bodybuilders of all time. But if you ask me, I don't think two thousand was his best, not even close, considering the mid to late nineties. He had some dinosaur versions here in 97 at the olympia not only huge but he was peeled shredded diced diced in the abs i'm telling you what and balance take a look at these photo shoot pictures the front and rear lat spread 97 kevin lavroni mr olympia maybe his best surely it, it is not uh renowned because he didn't get second place he get fourth he get fourth? Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And as the 90s 
got later, you know, the later 90s, 98, he was huge. He was huge, maybe too huge. I think he pushed the size game a little bit much. I don't think he was going to recapture that 1997 sting. And by by 99, he had sacrificed a lot of his condition. You can see that. A lot of his, I wouldn't call it condition, but a lot of his, his lines in detail for a little extra size. And the balance was way off. So th- for those of you thinking 99, no. And I guess we skipped 96. Skipped a a couple of versions here. 96 was far from his best. Far from his worst. And there was a couple of Arnold Classic versions. To be honest with you, I was not that impressed with those versions either. I mean, sure, you're an Arnold Classic champion. Look great. But stack him up to a... a, what, What is this? Hungary's Grand Prix's Grand Prix Hungary's baby please pretty good pretty good and maybe guys maybe his best version ever but the pitchers look you can't see detail he's huge he's probably conditioned but I'm not gonna say it's his best now the 97 Finland Grand Prix hmm Legend has it, and you guys have been waiting for this. Legend has it that this was his just unbelievably best version by far. There's no pictures. I took a couple of screenshots from a video. I don't like to show videos. As you guys may know, I don't want to get any copyright strikes, things of that nature. But yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good indeed. And I don't want to tarnish this legend of the 97 Finland Grand Prix. He did have a pretty good balance. His, his wheels were peeled, as you can see here. Pretty etched, pretty etched. But is this enough to go by? Do I believe in the legend, the legend of the 97 Finland Grand Prix? Considering this was a... You wanted to know when, when his best year was? Considering that 97 uh, Olympia looked good. The the Hungary's Grand Prix and the Finland, 97 probably his best year. But at the end of the day, yes, there's always an end of the day. If you ask me when his, uh, when, when, when's my, my favorite version? 92. When's the, uh, the most legendary version? The 97 Finland Grand Prix. When do I honestly think if you stack them all up, who would win? Probably that Olympia version. Unbelievable. He was bigger at the Olympia, guys. I don't think any less conditioned either than that Finland Grand Prix. But I don't want to argue with the legend. Legend has it. Legend has it. Wow, does he look good at 92, huh? Huh? So the best, 97. 97 was his best year. My favorite, 92. 92. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Get it up to 500 likes, and I will do all of the other Yupik Tuesday, do do Tuesday requests. Have a great one.